This shouldn't come as a surprise, but of course this video has offensive content. I'm criticizing the elderly for crying out loud, but please keep in mind that everything, and I mean every single word that comes out of my mouth is a joke and not meant to be taken seriously. That being said, please enjoy, and if you're over 60 years old, you probably want to click off. This planet has a huge problem, a pressing issue, a curse, if you will, that can never be cured. The elderly, you know, senior citizens, old folk, geriatric geezers, to put it kindly. Many are kind, thoughtful, generous, and overall good people. But as well as used tissues, they have some tricks up their sleeves. The tech problems, way too realistic war stories, home defense shotguns, Facebook, all of which and plenty more I will be going over in this very video. So get ready to be stuffed full of information or just freshly baked chocolate chip cookies because it's time to criticize the elderly. Let's start off with a lesser known fact. Elderly people are actually so much more dangerous than they look. You do not want to break into the house of a senior couple. Grandad over here finna be pulling out his Winchester Model 1897 shotgun with several illegal attachments and blowing you back to World War One, while Granny whips out her car keys with an intent to do something severely inhumane to you. Now picture the scenario. You're at your grandmother's house and she spent like two months creating a feast that could feed a family of five for 40 fortnights. She serves it and you tell her, sorry Graham, I already ate dinner, I'm not hungry. Oh no, no, <laughs> you screwed up my friend. Oh, oh my gosh, where, where the heck am I? Hey oh! my little child, won't you try some of Grandma's lovely, lovely dinner? No, ah, uh, ah. Shh, shh, shh. Granny will make sure you get all of the yummy, yummy Gr nutrients. Grandma, what are you? Here, here, have some no, cake. No, 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 here comes the no, aeroplane. No, no, <laughs> oh, wasn't that oh. nice now? <laughs> Would you like to try some of no, my I'm, chocolate I'm, I'm, I'm really full. Oh. <laughs> it it doesn't, doesn't seem to fit. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, there we go. Good boy. <laughs> shush, shush, child. Now it's no. time for turkey! No. Anyway, now let's talk about texting troubles. You wake up at 2 in the morning to a text from your grandma that says, Help, my house is being robbed. You panic, of course, but notice she sent a text afterwards that says, Sorry, that was meant to be an invitation to dinner today. How is it possible to mess up a text that badly? And sometimes they'll just send you the strangest, most random texts like, Hey Google, how many calories in a ginger snap? Or, are you alive or are you the body they just found on the trail by Sunbury Road? Now we need to talk about the fact that if you leave your five-year-old son alone with grandpa for a minute, grandpa ends up reciting his entire experience in Vietnam in brutal, grisly detail, leaving your son scarred for life. Don't even get me started on... Facebook. So all in all, the elderly are like a dead weight to the earth, dragging us down and down and down, sapping us of energy until we implode and create a black hole. So what have we le- Wait. What's happened to my face? I've- I've become old. I see it now. I've spent so long ranting and complaining about old people that I've become one myself. I should have used my time more wisely. Instead of complaining, I could have complimented oldies, talked about the great deeds that they so often do. I'd have gotten to this age feeling content knowing that I've made other people feel good about themselves, instead of bringing them down with me like I have. Nah, it ain't that deep. Screw the elderly!